So you have three weeks to work on this unit. That means that I want to see every single learning activity done by all of you. And I want to see you commenting on each other's and giving feedback to each other's work. Because what you're thinking about this week is how you can be an agent of change, how you can be an advocate, how you can make the world a better place through your work and through your voice and through sharing. And this is something that's really close to my heart because a lot of the work I do and I think about is around how do we make sure that we can use our education, use our voice for change? How can we be that change we want to see in the world? What does that look like? You hear the butterfly wings flapping on one side of the world and a tsunami on the other side. What can you do to be a change maker? And that's what you're thinking about this week. And you're thinking about different ways you can be a change maker. And we need that. We need people like you to be advocating for change. Today, I was at a talk and I heard that of the grants that CIHR has funded in the last couple of years, it's like 4% or something, 5% about women and under 0.5% under about people who are gender diverse or part of the LGBTQAIP plus community. Like so small, we still have so much we need to do. We like to think that it's we're pretty equitable, but we're not, like we're not even close. And you can use your voice. You've found these different areas that we need to have changes in, whether it's physical activity or it's health liter literacy, or it's getting doctors or dentists or physiotherapists to talk to patients, whatever it is, like you've identified these huge gaps that are affecting people's lives every day. And so what you're going to do this week is you're going to be thinking, and next week and the week after, is thinking about how you can create learning resources for people, how you can move towards change, how you can take all this wonderful stuff that you've learned and thought about, and some of it's not so wonderful, but it's still wonderful that you know about it now, um, how can you put your vision of a better world on the table? How can you push for incremental change? Remember, incremental change takes you to have bigger and bigger, bigger changes. So you're going to reflect on your area of focus. You're going to reflect on your question. You think about policy and systems. You're going to think about how are you going to advocate for this? Who should advocate for this? How should this look? And you're going to create your own discussion activity. And I want you to do this this week. Don't leave this one out. Create a discussion. What do you think other people should be thinking about? How can we advocate for change? How can we shift that needle? How can we have public perception and public policy change? How can we change our ecology? I heard another phrase today. It was, and I wrote it down to talk to you about, but then I, of course, put it down on the back burner. But the ecologies, our health ecologies, right? So what do we do to change our health ecologies? What do we do to document change? What do we do to rectify inequities? We have rectify inequities by advocating, by being activists, by being your beautiful, wonderful selves who are educated and intelligent human beings. You use your voice and your knowledge to make change. So create a mini presentation. Imagine where your project's going to lead. This is a visioning activity, but it can be the start of something really great. So advocate, be an activist, have your voice heard, and I can't wait to listen to your learning activities. Remember that you do have Reflection Week, but you also have your assignment three is due on the 11th of July. So do start working on it and do keep thinking, right? Keep thinking and keep growing. And uh, wear sunscreen outside. It's summer. Drink enough water. Don't get dehydrated. And I'll see you next time.